Bungie dropped a new blog post Wednesday which highlighted some of the new balance changes coming to Lightfall. With Bungie announcing these balance changes, certain weapons have been highlighted as massive potential for being insane. So today I wanted to compile a list of exotic weapons to have going into Lightfall. If you want to check out the blog post for yourself, then I've left a link to it in the top of the description below, so head down there for it. With that being said, I'm Sniper Cage and let's dive into the video. Let's start the list off by talking about Anarchy. Anarchy is a beloved heavy grenade launcher that has dominated Destiny in the past and seems to be coming back to have a place in the meta again. With heavy grenade launchers getting a buff going into Lightfall, they will be strong once again, with them doing extra damage to enemies across the board amongst other changes. It's safe to say that this is going to become a must-have weapon. Also, for those who may be doubting whether or not Anarchy would receive this buff, the Destiny 2 team's account on Twitter seems to have confirmed it, hence why it's on today's list. If you have yet to get this thing, head to the exotic kiosk in the tower, right click on the Forsaken tab, and then you can purchase it from there. Now the next spot on here belongs to two weapons and the reason why two weapons are sharing the same spot is because these weapons are already fantastic but I think they're only going to get better in Lightfall. For the next spot we have Izanagi's Burden and Arbalest. I highlighted both of these in my top 5 best PvE exotics video and both are still dominated and will continue to dominate going into Lightfall as Bungie confirmed that Kinetic Special Weapons, which is the RBR, will have their damage multiplier increased from 1.05 to 1.15. This just means that these two weapons are going nowhere anytime soon. If you have yet to get either of these weapons, then be sure to do so. Izanagi's Burden drops from the Exotic Kiosk in the Tower under the same banner as the Anarchy, and Arbless drops from Exotic Engrams and from Xur if you have yet to get it. The next weapon is one that the community has wanted to be good and its time might finally be now. The next spot goes to 1000 Voices. 1000 Voices is the exotic drop from the raid Last Wish and is beloved because of how unique it is. Bungie confirmed in the blog post that 1000 Voices will be able to apply Scorch Stacks on Kill, which while it may not sound amazing towards bosses, it's a solid change especially when pairing it with solar builds. While I think other weapons on this list will probably take the spotlight, I think this weapon may be slept on in Lightfall. Be sure to farm Riven in the Queen's Walk encounters in Last Wish to get this thing, as Last Wish will be farmable week 1 of Lightfall. The next weapon I wanted to mention is one that I've admittedly been sleeping on but I'm finally awake for, and that is Grand Overture. When this weapon released back in Season 16, it felt more like a joke weapon and one that people would get some laughs out of before throwing it in their vault and completely forgetting it was ever an exotic. However, Bungie has noticed my lack of interest in this weapon and has repeatedly slapped me in the face with more and more changes to this weapon. The catalyst is getting changed to use Ark's blinding effect, and while this may not sound too crazy, it'll turn this weapon into a hybrid force to be reckoned with. Especially Especially with it getting the missile damage buffed by 50% recently. If you have yet to get this weapon, you can go and get it through the exotic kiosk in the tower under the Witch Queen banner, and I'd recommend you do so. The next option is one that has been bubbling recently, and I think it is going to get a change that will make it a Grandmaster monster. The next spot goes to Leviathan's Breath. Leviathan's Breath is a heavy bow that fires super slow, but will absolutely destroy anything in its way. It's an exotic that has been seeing more use in GMs, especially this season, and next season it may be even more insane. Bungie confirmed that Leviathan's Breath will now apply Volatile on Perfect Draw Impact, meaning that if you fully draw back the bowstring and hit your arrow, you'll now apply Volatile to that end me, and the damage to champions is being upped by 30% which is insane. I'd highly recommend you get your hands on it before Lightfall, if you haven't yet, you can once again find it in the exotic kiosk in the tower under the Shadowkeep banner. The final weapon I wanted to mention in today's video is more so an honorable mention, and that weapon is a Prometheus Lens. Many of might remember this weapon as being the weapon that terrorized Crucible back in year 1, but it may be coming back to terrorize ads in PvE as the catalyst for Prometheus Lens will now grant Incandescent and Lightfall, making this a fantastic weapon to use with solar builds. Now, the main reason why this weapon is an honorable mention, and not just flat out recommended, is because I think the retrace paths the trace rifle from Dares of Eternity will probably beat this weapon out, since it is a legendary weapon, also gets incandescent and can be paired with subsistence, and is craftable, meaning it is far more accessible than Prometheus Lens. However, I still wanted to mention this weapon as it is going to be a really fun and solid weapon for ad clear and lifefall. If you haven't obtained Prometheus Lens yet, you can get it through exotic engrams and Xur, so be on the lookout if you still needed. Well, that'll wrap up this video. If you found it useful, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more Destiny 2 content dropping every week. If you have any questions about anything Destiny related or just want a spot to hang out with and chat with me, then consider stopping by my streams that happen right here on YouTube. Finally, follow me on social media platforms all linked in the description below. With that being said, I'm Sniper Cage, and I'm out. Good luck with gaming.